We love animals, especially cute ones, but looks can be deceiving. Sometimes their cute fluffy furs and big sweet eyes are just perfect traps for us to be hooked in. Welcome to Give a Fact, and you are watching Top Cute But Deadly Animals. If you like this kind of video, be sure to subscribe for more great content, or tell us what you want to learn more about in the comment section below. Now let's get straight to the video, shall we? 1. Pufferfish Pufferfish or blowfish develop their inflatability because of their vulnerability to predators. They don't swim fast. Instead, they are somewhat clumsy and slow. So to escape from danger, they ingest a huge amount of water and air into their elastic stomachs. This turns them into spiky balls, several times their normal size, that are virtually inedible, or at least less palatable. Despite that, some big sea creatures do manage to snag pufferfish, however, without knowing their fates are coming to an end. Almost all pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, a substance that makes them foul-tasting and even lethal to fish, which they synthesized in their body through their invertebrates and algae diet. To humans, this toxin is deadly because it is up to 1200 times more poisonous than the fast-acting cyanide poison, and one pufferfish carries enough toxin to kill 30 adult humans. But amazingly, pufferfish meat is considered a delicacy in Japanese cuisine. It is extremely expensive and only prepared by trained certified chefs who are knowledgeable about this dish. Although deaths still occur annually from pufferfish licensed meals, gourmets still enjoy this dish around the world. 2. Slow Loris the slow loris is a contradiction. They may be cute, bijou, and big-eyed, but they are also toxic, fractious, and potentially lethal. The world's only venomous primate, these nocturnal furballs live in the rainforest of South and Southeast Asia. The slow loris has a raised bald patch on its inner upper arm, called the branchial gland, where pungent and noxious oil is secreted. When the slow loris feels threatened, it raises its arms and licks the gland. The saliva and oil mix, producing a venomous solution, which is then drawn to the tooth comb's tip by capillary action. When it bites another animal, the venom enters the victim's bloodstream. The activated venom causes pain, swelling, and a festering wound that takes ages to heal. It can kill small mammals and arthropods and cause anaphylactic shock, heart irregularities, and death in humans. Although its venom can injure predators and kill small prey-sized animals, it seems the slow loris tends to save its toxic chomp for members of its own species. The venom is also used passively as a deterrent. Before they park their babies in a tree and go off to forage, mothers lick their branchial glands and then groom their young so that the venom is transferred to the baby's fur. This is thought to deter potential predators, such as clouded leopards and sun bears. 3. Blue-Ringed Octopus At only 10 centimeters long, these tiny blue-ringed octopuses are some of the ocean's most venomous critters that can be found off the beaches of Victoria and beyond. The blue rings on their body are distinctive and function as a living warning system to tell predators to back off. Although it is normal for octopuses to be venomous, Golf ball-sized blue-ringed octopuses are more special because their venom is 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide. Each of them packs enough toxin to kill 26 humans within minutes. Their toxin is a potent neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin, which is the same as the pufferfish's toxin. When going hunting, they catch the prey, including crabs, shrimps, and small fish, by biting through them and inserting the venom. The toxin will paralyze the prey, leaving them a nice meaty meal inside their shell. If beachgoers happened to be bitten by these blue-ringed octopuses, they would first experience muscle numbness, then various other symptoms such as nausea, blindness, or loss of motor skills. Ultimately, all of their muscles will be paralyzed, including the muscles that are necessary for breathing, leading to respiratory arrest. Although there is no antidote yet, Victims can be saved if artificial respiration is started immediately. These octopuses are extremely deadly, but their bites are painless, and they are not aggressive either. So if you see them, don't threaten or try to pick them up. Be careful 
because you might not know you've been bitten until it's too late. 4. Hooded Pitoe This cute little bird has a deadly secret in its poisonous orange and black feathers. Being one of the only known birds to be toxic, simply touching their feathers would make your hands feel like they are on fire. The toxin on their fur and body is batrachotoxin, or BTX for short. This toxin would stop your sodium channels, which are necessary for your organs to function properly, from working, making you paralyzed and even die if you ingest a little bit of it. So never eat these birds in any circumstances. Scientists found out that these New Guinea native birds don't make the toxin on their own. They got it from their prey, the tiny Melrid beetles, and use it as a defense mechanism from predators. Scientists don't stop there. All of their findings lead to an intriguing question. How can the hooded patui keep from poisoning themselves when eating BTX? This is still unknown, but their best theory has been that these little cute birds have evolved specially adapted sodium channels that are immune to BTX. They have also found that the hooded patui has what they call toxin sponges, proteins that clear the fatal toxin BTX before it poisons the bird. 5. Duck-billed platypus Duck-billed platypuses are small and shy animals that have thick fur and snouts that look like ducks' bills. The male duck-billed platypuses are equipped with sharp spurs on the heels of their hind feet, which are used to deliver a strong toxic blow to any approaching predators. During the mating season, the male's testes swell and they would start fighting with each other over females. They wrap their legs around their opponent and viciously stab it with those sharp spurs while injecting their victim with the venom to paralyze it. This venom is made by their crucial glands, a sweat gland co-opted by evolution that swells with about a teaspoon's volume of venom during mating seasons. The victims wouldn't be killed. Instead, they would eventually recover and swim off. This only happens during the mating season. Once it's over, the male's testes go back to normal size and their crucial glands go dormant. So, what would happen to humans if we provoked a randy male during the season? The good news is that there have been no recorded human fatalities. The bad news is that you would be viciously attacked with a sharp spur, so vicious that he will need you to yank it out of your wound manually. This pain was described as immediate, sustained, and devastating. Not even morphine can ease the pain for you in this case. However, don't think this is just it. This is, in fact, just the beginning. After the attack, you might become nauseated, suffer from cold sweats, and watch as the muscles waste away in your hand. And if you're like one unfortunate 57-year-old victim, your hand would stay weak and hypersensitive to pain for up to three months after your spurring. 6. Poison Dart Frog In Central and South America live the most beautiful and vibrant frogs ever, the poison dart frogs. Despite their innocent look and unique colors, they are some of the most toxic animals on Earth. The two-inch long critters carry enough BTX, the same toxin as the hooded patui, on their brightly colored skin to kill 10 grown men. They were given their name because the indigenous Embera people of Colombia have used its powerful poison for centuries to tip their blowgun darts when hunting. Scientists are unsure of the source of poison dart frogs' toxicity but it is possible they assimilate plant poisons which are carried by their prey, including ants, termites, and beetles. Poison dart frogs raised in captivity and isolated from insects in their native habitat never develop poison. The medical research community has been exploring possible medicinal uses for some poison dart frog poison. They have already developed a synthetic version of one compound that shows promise as a painkiller. And that is a wrap! What did you learn from this video? Let us know in the comment section below. We hope that our educational videos will help spread the knowledge so everyone can protect our world and biodiversity together. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you find our videos useful and want us to make more videos. Until next time, give a fact.